Hey everyone, I'm Cam Johnson, and I'm an investigator. Yeah, not professionally, yet, um, but I have been researching a string of killings on the East Coast, and the more I find out about these killings, the more it seems they're linked by some similar bizarre circumstances. I'm going to lay out everything that I've found about these murders, and my theories on who or what killed these people. On December 11th, 2016, 19-year-old Johnny Wells was found brutally murdered inside his dorm room with no evidence to explain what happened. Johnny had been recruited earlier that year to play football at Northeast University. The quarterback had an incredible start on the team and was well on his way to turning pro after graduation. Everything changed, however, on October 2nd when Johnny suffered a debilitating injury. A powerful tackle damaged one of his kidneys so badly, doctors told Johnny it was too dangerous for him to ever play football again. That didn't stop Johnny from trying, though. He refused to give back his uniform and wore it around campus. He continued to show up to practices trying to play, and when his coach banned him for practices, Johnny skipped class and wouldn't leave his dorm room for days, quickly landing himself on academic probation. His roommate Sean Branner said that he caught Johnny watching his highlight reels from past games on repeat. Knights have lost six games since they lost me. You think that's coincidence? No, they need me. This is bullshit. Before he withdrew from his friends, Johnny told them someone was taunting him. He said he received tons of mysterious notes in the back of his notebooks. After going home over the weekend, Sean returned to their dorm room to find a gruesome scene. Johnny's body was mutilated. His arms were completely twisted behind his back, and his torso was bent back at a 90 degree angle. The only other person besides Johnny that would have had access to their room was their RA, Mike Devils. Multiple witnesses confirmed Mike was hosting a poker night in the downstairs lounge at the time of death. But could any human have been capable of committing the murder? Johnny was six foot four and 220 pounds. How could anyone overpower him and move his body in such a violent way without tools? Johnny's friends and family can't imagine who would want to kill him. I can't imagine what could have killed him. I have more eerily similar cases to share with you that leave me with more questions than answers. But until next time, keep your eyes out, your heads down, and your ears open. Later. Watch new scary vids every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday.